Hey guys, welcome back to the BAHS Pulse Podcast. I'm Avi Harjo, joined here with... I'm Scout Hagrid, and we're here, we are here with two of our AP art students. Hi, I'm Thalia. I'm Janie. To talk about all things art and then reflect on the past art show we just had. So let's get started. Okay, how long have you guys been in art? Um, I've been in art seriously since middle school, and I've loved it since elementary school. Probably the same for you, Janie. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. It sounds like you guys have been in a while. Within that, what has been your favorite class? I think definitely these AP art classes. Um, my first one was last year with Mr. Tadero, and it's just an amazing experience. I learned so much. Yeah, I've loved the AP classes here, um, starting with Mr. Tadero, and now we've been able to take three, and it's just, they're amazing. I love them. Okay, so have you guys competed in any art competitions before? Um, yes, yeah, so the Scholastic Art Competition that just came up, um, I got a silver key and honorable mention and then also Young Talent. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah we got this Young Talent in Oklahoma is a competition and we both got a piece in, so yay. <laughs> cool. So, as you guys know, Broken Arrow High School just hosted our first ever art show and what's it called? I like it, Picasso. <laughs> Where'd you guys get that name? The TikTok, the TikTok sound. <laughs> Fair. How was it to contribute to the making of it? Um, it was interesting, but it was fun. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of after school work and um dedication. But honestly, it turned out really, really good, and it was really fun. But just a lot of work. We had a lot of people submit, and so yes. we weren't expecting that many submissions. But it was, it was a really pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Scout actually were there. I mean, you got a chance to look. It was really nice. It was. It literally looked like like a professional yeah. art exhibit. It was really cool. So glad you enjoyed. <laughs> um, was it completely student led? Like who was in charge of all of it? Yeah, it was completely student led. Uh, Mr. Tudor had the idea for it, and then basically we just took it from there yeah, and he handed us the reins, and we yeah. just planned everything, paid for almost everything, we set up everything. It was all student operated. So, how would you guys say the turnout was? The turnout, like the opening night, the first couple hours really were, good. there was a lot of people that came. I wasn't expecting yeah. that many people. But a really good flow of people. Yeah. And yeah, this was really good. <laughs> Sorry. Do you guys think it'll return next year? Oh, yes. yeah, definitely. <laughs> there were definitely a couple of things that like we could have tweaked and, and everything. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how it turns out next year. It's good. Is there any, uh, any other projects you guys are like planning on or like looking forward to this year? Um, I know we have the district art show coming up like april april 15th something like that somewhere in april sometime soon and um we're just prepping for we have oh wait we actually have murals oh yeah so with our club we have been doing a lot bleh. <laughs> we have some projects coming up and so we're painting uh doors for the library which is like book scenes and so it's like imagination yeah and so there's like alice in wonderland and um other ones as well Charlotte's oh, Web. Charlotte's Web. all kinds of things like that and then we're also painting murals for the broken arrow psc mm -hmm. i didn't even know that was happening you guys should that's really cool talk about it a lot of work um so basically i don't remember the size but Probably about as big as this table, if not bigger, are the murals. Um, so they're kind of like a, you need a team to paint them, but they're just supposed to go up and replace the old paintings in the PAC and kind of be like a representative of our community and what BA means to us. And it's a big uh, tribute to like the uh, Muscogee tribe. Ours right? is. Ours? Yes. I think, yeah. A lot That's of my them, tribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're representing you. <laughs> Well, it's that's what those are. And the doors, like we said, are kind of like doorways to imagination and reading. And we're trying to like boost the library a little bit more too. show some love. <laughs> OK, uh, do either of you guys plan on pursuing art in college? Most definitely. Yeah, definitely trying <laughs> to. We're both book, uh, waiting for a scholarship from University of Arkansas. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wanting to do um, studio art and I'm wanting to kind of look into like art therapy stuff too. Yeah, trying to do studio art and also trying to dance. So try to combine those artistic aspects. So I've never heard of art therapy. What's that? So um, basically it's, it's just like regular therapy, but sometimes people just have a hard time explaining themselves. And so they express themselves through art and it just creates that outlet for them and a safe place for them to be able to create. So that's really nice. Do you want to play the game now? Yeah, I think it's game time, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Would you guys rather? Oh, 
know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're playing Would You Rather. <laughs> okay, would you rather attend a busy private view or visit a quiet exhibition alone? Hmm. Both sound really fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so something fun about like it being really busy is that sometimes you get to meet some interesting people. Yeah. But also a quiet... Thing, it's not super busy so you're able to take all the time up to be able to look at everything and not like feel like you're yeah. gonna bump into somebody and so I think it just depends on the situation yeah maybe overall artistically quiet so I can actually yeah. look at everything <laughs> but for a good time maybe busy <laughs> good choice good choice all right um would you rather only be able to look at portraits or landscapes mm-hmm. I feel like I love landscapes but I do feel I am draw more to portraits I create more portraits than landscapes um so I just think there's so many interesting features about like just the human face in general and like you can really just there's so much everybody's different it's like yeah. every person looks different every portrait looks different so it's just very interesting I agree I think I like landscapes they're really pretty to look at and I'm still like whoa I can't paint water like that <laughs> um, but <laughs> I think that portraits are really just something special and I would prefer that because, I mean, you have to look at like the texture and just all the different things that make humans humans and it's very interesting. I think that's a whole technique in itself. So. Expressions also expressions, and yeah. just like really capturing that person. Who they are, yeah. yeah. That kind of crosses off one that I like almost put on this list but didn't. <laughs> that was like, would you rather someone draw a cartoon view of you or have them draw a hyper-realistic? Hyper-realistic for yeah. sure. <laughs> I would look bad as a cartoon. <laughs> cartoon would be fun though, like at those little fairs where they're mm-hmm. like, oh, let me draw you as a cartoon. They're kind of brutal sometimes. They like, <laughs> yeah, they see your features and they exaggerate they, like, they, them. Oh, and they wrong Okay, now it's bam. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> okay, would you guys rather have to read an essay about the work each time you looked at an art piece or have no written information about it at all? No written information because art is always like very, like everybody has their own interpretation of it. And so sometimes it's interesting to see. Yeah. I honestly, I would probably enjoy an essay because I like to write and like analyze that kind of thing. So it'd be probably interesting perspective, but I think it's better for everybody to have their own view on everything. So no, no words. (laughs) No words. No words. (laughs) All right. Would you rather never work again or have to work with the worst boss you've ever had forever? Never work again. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I could do it. Oh God, I don't know. If they're pretty terrible, I may have to run away. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's just not a great workplace, yeah. then... Like, am I working help? with my boss or are they just my boss? Yeah, that that's, is up to that's you. That's a good question. If they're just away from me, I could probably work there. But, like, if I'm next to them every day, I gotta get out. <laughs> okay. Would you guys rather only be allowed to view online exhibitions or never be allowed to take a photograph in a gallery ever again? Photograph. Take a photograph. Uh-huh. <laughs> Online, it doesn't do it justice. Mm-hmm. Really you have doesn't. to see it in person. There's texture. To, sometimes to. there's like even a smell of the paint, or like it's just it's the light hitting it. It's just so different. So definitely in person. That was beautifully worded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you rather have loads of sales of your work but have no reputation, or have a huge reputation with no sales? Ooh. Now I, mean, I would <laughs> like some money. I would like some money. <laughs> I mean. Like you kind of want to have an effect. I on feel the like world, I'd rather have know? the like effect, and maybe I'll make some side job yeah. or something. I don't yeah. know. I think that depends on if I have another job. Yeah, so <laughs> if that's my only job, I kind of. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd probably still maybe do recognition just so everybody yeah. could see it, but less I, for my own fate, like yeah. Whole fate. <laughs> yeah, but I think I would be doing something wrong if, I, yeah. if the only reason I'm doing it is for money. Money, yeah, you know, and not to make it. I have some passion. It, so. It's like having enough to provide for you yeah. to continue pursuing Make art, ends meet. Yeah. but not being like a star. That leads into the next. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about starving artists. <laughs> Would you guys rather never eat again or, or give up eat. art? Yeah, like, that's a good one. I, I mean, both ends in let me not greatness. Well, I don't know the if you've lives. ever been working on a piece for a few. Um, like seven hours or something and you just if you don't have food next to you you're not eating i'm sorry you're not you're not gonna get up and move i'll, I'll hyper focus so bad that sometimes i like just don't un- know i'm hungry no and then and i I'll just don't and just it's like tw- <laughs> it's like 2 a.m and i'm like hmm i could use a little snack <laughs> like, so i don't know maybe i could do the not eating <laughs> if i focused on my art enough 
Oh, you heard it here. They both want to be starving artists. No. <laughs> please pay me. I would like some tacos, please. Tacos, yes. yes. With lime. <laughs> All right. Back to normal questions. Where do you where do you guys see that you like find your inspiration the most for your pieces? Uh, like I said earlier, mine is mainly through uh, people. I just think interactions between people or just like the human experience in general is just really interesting. A lot of mine is just my perspective because I kind of make more dark art. Even if it doesn't have a dark meaning, it's just a dark portrayal. Sometimes it's just how it kind of my perspective of, of the world. And I like to kind of portray people's downfalls and show their kind of like deep, true, dark reality for people to see. So. I'm also like very interested, like again, I want to do art therapy. So like st- psychology, like really? brain and just like how that works. It's just so, it's so cool. fascinating. <laughs> So, like, you guys talk about art therapy. I know we kind of went over it earlier, but, like, does that include, like, Rorschachs and, like, stuff like that where you, like... Like the inkblot test. Oh, probably. I think that's just regular... I mean, therapy? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I'm a little art blind. therapy is more of, like, that person, like, that is getting the therapy is able to express themselves through art. So, like, do you yeah. teach them art? So, yeah. Yeah. Like, you can, Correct like... Correct me if I'm them- in a second. Keep going. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can give them tips and everything, but mainly it's just for them to be able to do whatever they want. I'm in like an at-risk program for a bunch of kids that come from like really um, different backgrounds. And so they just are able to come and create art. And it's a really great outlet for them that they can just not worry about anything and just keep doing it. Can I ask a question? Okay. Um, Aren't there also like opportunities to be an artist who creates like therapeutic art? Like, so there's art that represents like calmness or like you know those different yeah, situations I'm sure like you know like when you're creating an aesthetic too mm-hmm. and so you want uh or even like when you're selling a house you want an artist that like creates a certain environment in the room and so those aspects are always really interesting too so art is just like in everything <laughs> Let's see you can probably hear yeah, <laughs> our, our beautiful sign. So going back to uh, you guys talking about inspiration, would you say it's more from like individual interactions you've had with people or like the passing moments, like walking through the hallway and the stuff that you would say is like the filler in your life or just like really specific interactions yeah, with it people? Would definitely be both. There are like moments I see like just walking or like go- walking down the street and like I see different interactions from people or just like maybe not something that I've experienced myself, but like I've had somebody tell me something happened. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, I want to paint that. And so, yeah. yeah. Um, Something for me is like probably like the interactions I have lead to me to like dig deeper into those passing ones that I don't think about. So like all those like passing moments or memories like I don't really think about too deeply. Those like little moments in my life are probably what sparked me to like look at it deeper. So I love how into psychology artists typically are because I I feel like it's hand in hand. (laughs) It's very deep. I mean, Sometimes art can just, that's the thing, art can be so fun where you just like throw paint somewhere and just like get your like emotions out or you just have fun. But it also can like, you can really tell a story with it. And that's the beautiful thing about it. And then there's also times that you're just like, I'm just going to paint something randomly. And then like the idea Damn. just comes to you and you're like, whoa, yeah. I didn't realize this was in my head. I like, sat up in bed the other night because I got an idea, grabbed my little sketchbook and was like, da 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 It just happens at random moments, inspiration. So it's kind of untold. Do you guys have a favorite medium to make those dreams come to reality? So I am re- I really love graphite and acrylic. A new one I have been experimenting with has been chalk pasta, and I've realized that I really like it. I really like acrylic. Um, sculpting is fun, but I think I prefer to paint. And um, I've experimented with oil this year for the first time, and that's actually the piece that got into a competition, which was very nice. And I, I really like to experiment with texture this year too as well, so. And McDonald's. No. And McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Ha ha. No one's going to know what that means. It's an insight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, circling back, what would you guys say the outside commitment is beyond? Um, well, there's, and for AP classes, there's a lot of like, you need to take your projects home to work on. Um but, and sometimes you need to, usually they have like supplies for you yes. to use at school, but sometimes there's like extra stuff that you need to bring. For or, a specific thing, yeah. Yeah. You guys ever feel like you face writer's block or like creator's block? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I definitely agree that like it's a lot of outside work. You have to like dedication because these pieces can take months, years, like depending on what you're creating, it can take 
So it's just dedication and like having the commitment to do the work. And passion. Passion. A lot of passion. Back what would you say? Take, oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back to the writer's block thing though. Usually when I have it, I always go on like Pinterest and I look yeah, up Pinterest like different Yeah, Pinterest is a lifesaver for and, artists, I swear. <laughs> yeah. And so I never like steal from like no. Pinterest or anything, but like. Inspiration. Yeah. Just, just inspiration. And so I like combine a bunch of different pictures. Yeah. And so, I mean, that's what artists yeah, do. And a lot of like times we want to take our own <laughs> reference pictures. Like Janie's taught me that this year. Like, so for like three of my pieces, I almost um, drowned for one. So love that piece, please. <laughs> um, it's called you take your own pictures. And so you have to be creative in that way too. So You guys kind of answered my own question. Great. Nice. <laughs> um, how would you say going about taking a reference picture is? Um, sometimes kinda... they're really funny and really awkward. Yeah. Cause like for my last one, the one that won was like, not one, but like got in, I had to make myself cry and have mascara run. And I'm like in my bathroom silently screaming because it, but like there's no sound, but like it's really awkward and funny, but you really have to just think about your composition of your piece and like how you want your, like what you're trying to tell as you're taking a picture. So I remember Usually, seeing that piece. It was really good. Thank you. <laughs> Usually I just take videos. Yeah, and videos. Like, move around weird places. My last piece, in my current piece that I'm working on, I had to like play with the lighting, kind of like we, we did before we started this. Yeah. But I'll have to play with the lighting to make it look like it was the middle of the day rather it's than actually night. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and That's where like your friends and family really come in handy. Like my last, my reference picture I just did from this, my recent piece, um, my mom really helped me out there. It was like, we were turning on 5 million different lights. She's like on a ladder. <laughs> so, I mean, get you some friends and family who will help you with your passion. So. Do you guys know the painting A Day in the Park with George? Like, I've it's the like French painting where it's, heard of it. yeah. so where it's like all the, the umbrellas. The dot, yes. the dot oh, yeah. one? Oh, the pointillism one. Yeah. Yes. So there's, there's like a musical made about that. And there's this I, one I scene. Know, I know the musical. Yes. There's this one scene where he's just like, and there's a tree where I don't want one. And he's like, erases the tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I haven't seen it though. I've only heard some music. So that's really funny. But yeah, you can take out anything yeah, you want. You can don't choose. have to use exactly what your reference picture is. That's what that's it is. Awesome. It's a reference picture. Yeah. That's the creative liberty of artist so you guys have any advice or any words for people who want might we wanting to join art if you don't think that you're a good artist like that's literally what art classes are for like if that's the only reason that's holding you back then like we have amazing art teachers that are here to help you here to teach you that's that's what they're here for um and i've learned so much even just like this past year and so yeah yeah i mean i've changed a lot in these past just two years like it's crazy um, these teachers are really here to support you. If you have any, any little inkling, or even if you're like, I don't know if I would like it, try it. There's so many different classes. We have at least like 10, 12 different types of art classes. There's something for you to like. And, um, our teachers will help you and nurture your passion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so join art guys. Please. Yeah. It's really fun. Well, I think it's a good outlet for people, especially when it's starting to get like stressful. It's a good way to like you know, just like let things go and have like a fun class. Yeah. And there's times where you can just get in the zone and just focus on your art and you all your outside worries just go away. And it's great. And I definitely say there's probably some like skills and especially perceptively like outlook takeaways that you can apply to like your entire life. Yes, definitely. It's kind of funny that there's been a couple pieces that I'll be working on that I'll have an experience happening in my own life at the same time. And I was like, huh, this is kind of weird. The kind of crazy coincidence that this happened. Just really being able to bounce off all these other creative people is really amazing as well. I mean, I'm learning so much from them too, so. Yeah. And joining art, I've gained so many friends from that also. <laughs> and, uh, um, and just like, there's just a whole community. There really is. And now that you've joined it, you can find it. And so I highly recommend you guys find it too. So. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else? <laughs> Let's see. I think that's kind of it. Yeah, I think that centers back. So. Cool. Thank you guys for coming. I've like I it was really nice. You guys are really good at talking about it. I can tell that you guys really, really care and have like such a passion for it. And I've loved your pieces, Thank both of you. yours, because I saw them in the art show. Yeah, I pointed them out when you were gone. <laughs> we made sure to look at yours too, Jenny. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Right. And we should be having a BAHS segment coming up pretty soon. Yeah, That'll we, be we on. We are working on that on the Wednesday GMBA. So, hey, you right. might see might see these familiar faces once again pretty soon. So, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.